Someone out there? Hello? Oh. What a swan, eh? Oh, never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago.
Oh, signal. Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid-zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded... Could they, I mean, they're from outside? They're a breacher? Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. That flip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? Oh, I'm kidding. Could it be? A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a. No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant, and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Then bang, baby! Shelter, go on and let yourself in. I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive.
seconds to get the hell out before I... Oh, my head. Uh, Some emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We send a patient to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant which has taken the form of a car, and, well, uh... Oh. You're on the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super official zone business. Protocol, uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written at 10 years and 17 volumes and... <laughs> That voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. So, <sighs> another breacher, huh? <sighs> How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Oh. Unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against preachers trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours.
There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Take a look at the projector against the wall. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means 
is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Okay, newbie, I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. The arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. Squatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Thank <laughs> you. 
a driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Oh, can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. But we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth.
radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Get moving. 
The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Zone didn't get you, that gateway would. 
Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they're the rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place, mess up my equipment, and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Up the antenna to the route planner. 